Okay, this this is a, a a fun comic for me. I have the caption written up there. Uh, this it's probably a cartoon that's been drawn before by uh, different folks. Some sometimes you have cartoons that may or may not. this is probably one of those that's been drawn before. But this is my take on it. I I kind of. Uh, and let's just get started here. I'll explain as I go. So this this is my take on what probably is an overused cartoon. Of, but one of the things, we all have our strengths and weaknesses of drawing and stuff. Oops, excuse me there. But this one, bugs bugs are hard for me to draw. I You would think, well, bugs are simple. They're, they're just, uh, it's, you always, uh, you're always torn. Do I draw them like people with with antenna, or do I draw them like bugs with a nose? There's always kind of a a uh, a decision to make on on what on what your bugs are going to look like. I I always waffle back and forth as to what what exactly form my bugs will take. Anyway, this. This uh, this particular one, I, I I feel like I did a decent job on my bugs on this one, so I'm kind of I'm kind of kind of proud of my buggery on this particular one. So uh, anyway, I'm just gonna gonna draw this up with bugs. There are so many different kinds, you know. You can just you can almost do whatever you want with bugs and no one's gonna call you on it. So that's the freedom you do have with, with the bugs is that pretty much a bazillion of them out there. You can draw them however the heck you want. And and so, but at the same time, you wanna do a good job. You want people to say, ah, oh, hey, that's, he did a, he did a nice, uh, he did a nice job on his bugs. And this, I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna fix this a little later on the. So this this bug's got uh, got something in his pincers. Man, you know I don't know what kind of bug this guy is. Doesn't really matter. It's not that isn't very pertinent to the story at hand. I'm just going to give it. I hope you can see. I'm kind of, am I going off camera or not? So, so that's our foreground bug. He's got a bowl of of uh, of muck, and he seems kind of kind of happy about it. Um, I'm going to draw the. Let's see where am I going to put it? Right, right here, right across there. That's where the. So I'm going to draw this counter or bar top right there. They're at they're at the counter, and uh, they're eating food. Uh, this one just just as a flavoring fun article, I'm giving this guy. This bug here has a skateboard, why not? Let me draw the skateboard in there. He's got a skateboard. And, uh, just the, see, again, this is, this is me overdoing it. Would, is anybody gonna notice the skateboard? Maybe, maybe they will, I don't know. So there's the bug skateboard. Um, I'll draw, I'll draw a bar stool here, right there. Fancy bar stool for the bug bar. Okay, then I'll draw this. I'll draw this down to here, and I'll sort of finish the. So I'll probably the, the the actual end of the cartoon will probably be in this area, um, and now this is the more fun 
bug. He's going to be the outraged bug. The, the angry outraged bug. Hey, what's going on? And, and with bugs, like I said, with bugs, uh, you, you know, you can, like I said, you can just basically be uh, as, as nonchalant with a bug as you want, because nobody is going to say, oh, that's, that's, you, you messed up on his thing. This, this bug's got, he's, uh, he's pointing to his meal. And apparently not happy with it. And kind of yelling uh, about it. Okay, so now I gotta make a decision here. So, okay, I gotta make a see a. I can do all this on the computer, you know. So it's like, like with these, I. <sighs> Well, like here, I left. I, I kind of I counted for the line. This one, obviously, I, I didn't. I I could have, but I didn't. Any anyway, but you always have the options. It's easier if you if you do it. I mean, the less computer work, the better. But sometimes, sometimes it's it's just if you got like a a lace or something or, or anyway it's a lot it has a lot going on sometimes it's easier just to do it on the computer so this guy this bug here is um that's just a uh, like a division we're on his two sections so with with this guy i'm going to just make my life simple he's just gonna have like a shell or a wing or something I don't know what the hell is going to go on there that's all that's going to be visible there I'll probably make this uh, one color maybe I'll throw in some um, uh, polka dots or something okay so that's him he's kind of like the main guy and anyway I feel like I did a pretty decent job on these bugs here and this guy he's going to be kind of an angry bug I kind of like this I kind of got a I'm going to give him a uh, I'm going to give him was I, was I going to give him teeth no I think I wasn't going to was it no yeah I'll give him teeth teeth and a kind of a pointy tongue like so and he's and he's going to be like this and I'm probably going to give him a, like a beard as well when he and he's going to have lumps I, I don't know why I gave him lumps I just did instead of real like real hair he's got lumps and he's going to have some aggressive looking antennae uh, just just because well he's an aggressive looking guy so that's him he's yelling he's angry who can blame him and uh, he's he's going to he's yelling about his meal that's that's coming out pretty nice now <clears throat> I'm going to I'm just gonna continue on with since I'm kind of going I'm on a roll here I'm going to put I'll put this over this way and if you see up here I have drawn another guy I kind of just put him as a placeholder so he's just gonna be like some sort of innocent looker on that frankly he's happy with his meal but the other guy this guy is not so I'm gonna put him there's one he's got one hand doing that and he's got another with with a spoonful of of mush that he's happy with 
he's got his he's happy with it though so he's gonna he's looking on like what the heck is this guy's problem I like I like this guy He's like, what? What? I'm kind of liking this. And he's just... Uh... So he's just looking on like, what the heck is this guy's problem? And I see, see I have arms drawn. I don't think I'm going to draw. I just think I'm just going to leave him pretty much the way he is. He doesn't play a big role in this. He's just eating. Okay, so that's that's half of the tune right there. Um, let me go. I'm gonna add. This is another one of my flavoring articles. I put I put like a, scoop, a pooper scooper here. So I'll do that. And it's it's going from here to there. Over from there into there so this is just sort of a pooper scooper I don't know if everybody, everybody know, anybody know what that is exactly okay so that's more or less it done but I'm going to position the cook a little bit like so give him a little more room right there and he's and he's uh, looking on he's got his sleeves got one sleeve like this and he's holding the uh, a spatula I have him holding a spatula here I think um, I don't know if I'll have him hold a spatula I might add a spatula later because right now he's got his uh, he's got like a, a thing around his his around his neck like a, a bandana and he thinks he's thinking he's getting some goofy praise on, on the deal which is kind of cool so he's thinking the guy's going hey Hey, this this is just is just utter crap. And of course, being a dung beetle and all, he that's that's high praise to him. And so, like I said, I don't know if this has been. It's 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 not that unique a cartoon. I, I suspect it has been done. Um, and I'm going to uh, put like a chef's. They got that double-breasted chef apron thing on they got you know the two rows of buttons down it I'm gonna throw that on him here that's what he's gonna be wearing and he's got uh, his shell or his shell I guess and then this uh, and then his other arm thing coming out here so he's pretty pleased and now I'm just gonna try to round out the the countertop here with with some uh, without cutting everybody's head off and stuff so this is the the inside countertop Oh, 
hopefully that's it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be perfect so that's the inside countertop that's pretty much his little rest restaurant I'll probably put some drawer like things there and so that's more or less the the cartoon I'm going to just quickly it's part of the cartoon I will throw it in the background somewhere I'll just quickly do this show you how the crazy tangents that I get off in with my cartooning so uh, of course uh, I could put dung beetle bar I'm just gonna assume that people know that they're dung beetles because they're eating dung. So with that said, I'm, I'm going to forge ahead with a different um, with a different uh, sign. So this, of course, is a railroad because that's what I turned it into and this is an R and this is another R and so so that's the railroad and of course the name of the place is the infestation house and I'm gonna be kind of uh, I don't want to be perfect I kind of want to keep it I've kind of drawn the bugs a little loose so I kind of want to keep the station just a little loose and not will I ever use this sign again maybe probably not but maybe um, uh, it's I, I I probably will somewhere I don't have any plans for it right now but but you know sometimes you definitely have plans for a, a, a sign that you could use at other places this one seems a bit special it doesn't it, it isn't specifically bug related it could be anything and it's just kind of a, a fun name um, I probably will use it somewhere else it won't be a centerpiece and let me finish this up but this shows you the rabbit holes I'm always going down I could I should have probably ended the cartoon and just moved on but part of the thing is, is the these these rabbit holes are fun for me maybe not so much for the reader but it's it's fun for me and 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 I'm gonna add the tracks there to give it the more of a railroad feel and on this way I'm gonna do it uh, I'm gonna do it like the the uh, use on the computer probably more than I I, I, I normally like I want to put the track the the ties the railroad ties uh, here and they're gonna be kind of big and bold so you could kind of see what they are that they're like railroad ties and then I think I'll end it there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put thick uh, railroad tracks across and then I'll also I'll do two of them and then I'll probably color these things in on the computer because it'll just be easier to do with the computer I'll, I'll clean that up with the computer so I'll connect this one here I'll connect that one there and there there it is that's a complete drawing with the additional bonus sign in the back which I may or may not reuse and then let me quickly sign it signing away I just drew this a while back so there it is, complete tune. It'll be fun one to color because bugs you can get crazy with. So let's see what I do with it.
bam, there is the finished product. It looks pretty nice. I, the bugs came out uh, really well. Uh, the I kind of like the angry bug. <laughs> I gave him a bit of a red face. Uh, the skateboard is appropriately stupid there. I thought I thought the three bugs that were facing us look look pretty like pretty fun bugs, so I'm happy with those. Um, I'm gonna give myself a C plus on this, largely due to the bug. I, I I don't I don't know how funny it was or how original that was. Probably done by other people, but this is my take on probably a, an overdone cartoon. And I, just as a bonus, I threw in the the name of the establishment they're eating at. So there it is in all its glory. Uh, thanks for joining me on this bug journey and I'll, I'll catch you in the next one.